Even as early as these 1959 home movies, I began developing my lifelong passion, wildlife. Having fun with animals, especially babies, continues to be a pleasure for me, my sister Mary, and my brothers Mark and Marshall, just as it was when we were growing up in Arkansas. Whether we were playing with ponies or helping Marshall ride the donkey, we learn to love these beautiful creatures. We pointed the 8mm camera at any and every cute varmint. Even this red fox that ate from our dog dish could not escape the camera's eye. Ah, my very first wildlife film. Squirrel versus house cat. A little shaky, but it's a start. I'm Marty Stauffer. Join me for a goofy, funny, touching look at some wacky babies. Decades after our pony rides and youthful exuberant play, Mark, Marshall and I head out on a beautiful morning in Montana to get a first-hand look at this spring's crop of wild babies. exploration and adventure occupied our own time growing up, it's a big part of every wild youngster's world. Our first sighting is an infant mountain lion, only weeks old, hiding beneath a tree, likely waiting for mom's return. A lone wolf pup wanders nearby. These babies are curious about one another. They don't yet know they're supposed to be adversaries. Hey, where are your spots? I don't have spots. My mama told me all mountain lions have spots. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm not a mountain lion. I'm a wolf. A wolf? Watch this. Now, see, I got claws so I can dig in and actually 
What's a wolf? You know, a wolf. Well, we howl at the moon. <gasps> that's you that scares me so much at night. Watch what I can do. See, Matt Lobs can oh, climb logs. Yeah, I could do that if I wanted to. Well, come on. I choose not to. But besides howling at the moon, uh, we, we, we hunt. In packs. Oh, like this? Watch. Ah! So you can climb on a log. This kid doesn't know anything. Must have been born in the late spring. Okay, so you don't want to go hunting for logs. No. How about scratching some trees? No. You just put your claws out and... Come on, can't leave me alone, okay? Hey, I know. Why don't we go chase some butterflies? Butterflies? I don't think so, kid. Hey, you better be careful up there. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a cougar. I'm a puma. <laughs> I'm a mountain lion. I got an idea. Let's play hide and seek. I'll go hide. You stay here and count. Okay. Hey, I think I'm picking up your scent. It's almost as if you're right here. That's because I am right here, kid. Okay, now I go hide and you count to 300. Okay. One, two, three, hundred. I found you. There you are. Now, you see, I have to hide before you can see. That's how you play hide and seek. Now stay there and count. Hey, wait a minute. One, two, three, hundred. No, three hundred, not three. I see ya. Hey, hey, come back. A young red fox is also out exploring. It, too, is looking for adventure. But what is unusual about this little guy is he just can't stay out of trouble. This odd looking stalk is a mushroom, a stinkhorn mushroom. It grows in the Colorado underbrush alongside more desirable edibles. Little does the mischievous fox puppy know, but the top of these mature stinkhorns is covered with a foul smelling slime. Flies love the spore laden goo. Animals don't. Boy, am I hungry. Hi, flies, what you eating? Hey, that looks delicious. Mmm, yeah, let me just take a little bite of this. Ugh! 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 Finally, Stinky has his smeller back. But after a rest, count on seeing him again. Still hungry. It seems babies are always hungry. These downy feather balls think they're starving. They're just killing time until their next feeding. Mother Barn Owl arrives with the groceries. Oh, thanks, Ma. A big rat. Now I want you to share with your brothers and sisters. I told you, one mouthful at a time. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good point about sharing, Ma. I can't watch. He has such bad table manners. What a geek. You're gross, even for an owl. Anybody want a leg? One down, four to go. <laughs> Not
Not all mothers are so accommodating to their offspring when it's feeding time. Come on, Mom, get up! This white-tailed doe is more than accommodating. Triplets. Mmm, chocolate! Oh, boy, I got strawberry! Gee, Ma, why do we always have to eat on the run? Come on, Mommy! Hey, everybody, look at me! I'm a surfer! This is cool! I want my Bobby! I want my Bobby! Possum kits are famous hangers on. The litter often numbers more than a dozen, with each trying its best to hang on. Hey, Ma! I suck and I suck and I don't get anything! That's because you're on my back. Oh! Whoa! I got it! <laughs> hey! Look at me, Ma! Ernie, get up here. It's time to eat, not play. Hey! Don't eat it all, guys! Save some for your brother. Stop fooling around, Ernie. Hey, Ma, do you deliver? Very funny. Or a marsupial. She's got no sense of humor. This newborn porcupine is urged on by mom to learn its climbing skills. Okay, it's time for your lesson, Junior. Okay, Mom, how am I doing? You're doing fine. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, oh, oh dear. Hey, look, Ma, one paw. <laughs> Obviously, young Mr. Porcupine doesn't know anything about hanging from a tree. If you're gonna hang, hang loose. <laughs> like this! Oh, now you see, it's not about hanging at all. It's about climbing. Now watch a pro do. <laughs> Clumsy mammals! <laughs> Coyote pups are among the cutest fallers. These little fur balls are waiting for their parents to return. They pass the time like lots of siblings, fighting. A tiny woodchuck baby watches with great curiosity. With mother woodchuck nearby, the little one takes a few more chances than he should near the steep dirt bank. Chucky, don't wander off and stay away from those bully coyotes. Okay, Mommy. <laughs> bully coyotes, bully my eye. We'll see who bullies who. <laughs> Mommy thinks I can't take care of myself. <laughs> While one pup is oblivious to the intruder, the other thinks this is much more interesting than fighting. I've been looking for you. You guys have been bothering my family for generations. Hey, it's just part of the circle of life. Yeah, well, you're not so tough. You can't even reach me down here. Just eat him and come on. Oh, two against one. I see what it's like. I'll kick you both on. Ha. Come on. I'm a predator. You're a prey. OK? Feel these teeth. Oh, huh? oh huh? yes. Oh, huh? yes. I'm impressed. Oh, ow, 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 oh, whatever will I do? <laughs> Look, a 
couple of years, and you're going to be lunch. So, why don't you just run along and play? Don't you talk down to me, you stupid canine. I'll chew your legs off, you understand me? <laughs> I'm just going to walk away. Oh, sure, run away, you big scaredy cat. <laughs> All the commotion finally attracts Mother Woodchuck's attention. Here comes the cavalry. Oh, Mommy! Oh, Mommy, Mommy I was so worried about you. What? They tried to eat me. Those coyotes were, were picking on you? Uh-huh. It was horrible. I told you kids to pick on someone your own size. Mother and baby reunited, safe and sound. Come on, Chucky. Oh, I don't like this kinder, gentler stuff. I should have pounced on him. Pounced on him again. The relief of the pup after his confrontation is cut short by a litter mate's awkward malady. It seems that after answering nature's call, there is a terrible itch in a most difficult place to scratch. Worms will do that. And these poor little guys are likely to have them since they spend so much time near their den. Oh, I hate worms. I can't even reach them. Oh. If only he could scratch a little faster. This tree is home to a litter of raccoons. Careful not to venture too far from the safety of the den without a parent, these cute little bundles of fur are nonetheless curious. Huh, I'm not curious, I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Mom should have been back a long time ago. Yeah. Come on, guys, help me go find something to eat. While Fluffball number one decides to explore on the ground, number two worries at home, while number three has higher aspirations. Hey, bring back something good. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of fish down here. After a lot of effort, cub number three finally reaches his goal, an egg-filled hawk nest. Wow! The Easter raccoon was here. Hey, everybody, we got eggs. Eggs? I love eggs. That's better than anything I'll find in here. How do you like your eggs? How about sunny side up? Bombs away! Oh, sunny side down. Nice catch down there. Mm, little runny, but I love it. Do I smell eggs? Are you guys eating eggs? Can it be? Stinky the fox again? Indeed it is. What trouble is he getting into this time? Raccoon number one hasn't yet learned caution. Hey, what you doing? You want to play? No, we're trying to eat some breakfast. Why eat breakfast when you can play? Hey, you better leave my brother alone. Our mom will be back soon. The pint-sized predator's fun is a little rough for the ringtail. 
Hey, go on and let us eat our breakfast or you're gonna be sorry. Don't say I didn't warn you! Whoa! Well, if that's the way you feel, forget it. So maybe you guys want to play after breakfast? Huh? No? Now you know why I never leave the tree. The fox decides to search elsewhere for a playmate or a meal. Usually, baby animals do not have to learn life skills on their own. Parents teach. This mallard hen is trying her best to urge her brood of ducklings into the water for a swimming lesson. Hey, wait for me. I've got my bathing cap on. Ooh, will somebody please give me a leg up? Not fair, you guys use all the sunscreen. Tree in my way. Seems like there's always one straggler. Here I go. Pool party. Home for these little striped skunks is close to Mama Skunk. Or when she's out foraging, they try to stay close to each other. except for that one independent spirit. Oh no, doesn't Stinky ever sleep? Here he comes, there he goes. Hey Skunk, what you doing? You wanna play? Uh, no, uh-uh. Come on, I've been going all through the forest looking for somebody to play with. You want to, like, wrestle, maybe? Or, or go jump around or something? Uh, Come uh, on! Uh, listen, we got to talk. Um, some of the other animals, they've been coming by and saying that you're been a little pushy. You know, you need to lay back a little bit. I, what do you mean? Well, um, you know, like, maybe, uh, um, could you stop? Wait, wait. Please, uh, would you stop going around in a circle? You're making me so dizzy. I could sniff or we could bite. He's off. You're coming on too strong. What is all this commotion? Hi, hi, wanna play? Uh-oh. Oh, what is the fox doing here? All is well in Skunkland again. Whew. Except Big Mama is still perturbed about the intrusion. I turn my back for five seconds and you children are playing with strange animals. All right, roll call. Putrid? Okay, you're here. Uh, Aroma? Here I am, Mommy! Stay by your brother. Oh, dear. Busty, where are you? Get over here. I told you to stay over here by the lake. Come here. You're always getting into trouble. It's you, isn't it? You children are just creating havoc. Calm down, Mother. Gosh! Fenton, get here. Come here. I mean it. Come along. Odorous, is that you? Yes, it's you. Come here. You stand over here. All right. I guess that's all of us. Oh, wait. Rosemary, you come here. Oh, that's not Rosemary. <laughs> it's Rosemary. Poor mom. What a litter to care for. And there is still one left. Yep. There's always one straggler. Come here, dear. There are times when mom's not around to help and encourage. This great horned owl fledgling is making its first attempt at flight. Gee, I wish mom was here to help and encourage. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and it. Oh, I got it. Get up, Joe. Oh, I'm not getting any lift here. 
brother observes from the nest. Tower to Owl Landliner 009 or winds out of South Southwest at 1 Niner. Proceed to taxi to take off on runway 2 Niner. Shut right. up over there! <laughs> this Oops. is harder than it looks. Okay, why don't you try it again there? Uh, clear for takeoff on runway 2 Niner and. Uh, oh, forget you! One, two, and. Yeah! Practice also makes perfect for this group of little lumberjacks. To become expert dam builders, the young beaver must first learn to cut trees like the adults. I don't know why, but I have a strange desire to chew on this wood. Sometimes their practice is much less than perfect. Timba! Zoinks! That was very close to my head! Oh, so sorry. Uh-oh. A more ambitious little beaver and a bigger tree. almost straight again. What was I thinking? I had the rest of my life to be busy as a beaver. Maybe if we stack the wood in the water. Hmm? Good idea, no? No! It's instinct. Oh, this water is so refreshing. I just want to lie and relax here in the pond. What? is a pond. Until I began observing animals, I did not realize that some youngsters were so good at dancing. Why, a three-year-old grizzly cub can even do the waterlogged ballet. However, as dancers go, none can top a moose calf. Even though the young moose and its dancing partner, an elk calf, are north of the border, the dance has a definite Latin flavor.
At first glance, the jungles south of Mexico do not seem like our wild America, but North America extends all the way down to the tropics of Panama. home to a myriad of exotic life, like the spider monkey and the tiny marguerite. These creatures vocalize a wonderfully rich audible feast. The jagarundi. Scarlet macaw. Jaguar, the tenacious toucan, and the deafening howler monkey. What I never knew is that three baby parrots and this odd looking taper can do such a fabulous barbershop quartet. Mario, Mario, hi. Oh, yeah, you're cute. Oh, you're cute. You're cute. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're oh. hungry, eh? Oh, hungry. Hungry. Great, I'm hungry too. I know a nice little tree. We can go get some fruits and the nuts. Oh, yes. Oh, fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts. Oh, yes, you like a fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts. Oh, so nice, so nice. I tell you what. What do we do is we take a... Hey, oh, where are you going? You don't know where to go. Just like the playful primate, this baby Kwadi Mundi is not a carnivore. He is so famished, he grubs for anything tasty. With a few timeouts along the way. There are endless treats in the trees. If you can just catch them. I got it. Got it. Hey, come here. I got your your history, pal. Come here, you spider, you little thing. I got I got you. I got it. I got it. Ow! I got it. I I I I got it. Ow! Got it. Hungry or not, I've rarely seen such humorous tenacity. A polar bear's determination helps it thrive in the Arctic cold. Baby bears are at home on the icy ledges, while mama bear is out hunting. I don't care what anyone says. I'm freezing. Yeah, me too. Burr woolly. If you boys get bored, you can go out and play in the snow. Oh yeah, never would have thought of that, Ma. The cubs soon tire of hanging around and decide to stretch their paws. She's a laugh riot. Out to satisfy their growing hunger, they begin the search for a snack. Even at this young age, they know it means they must head to the water. Oh yeah, here I come. Oh, look, a loon. An unsuspecting loon is about to be surprised. Get 
guess we ought to eat it then, eh? The successful young hunter is in no mood to share his good fortune. Just give me a little piece. But fate has a way of turning the tables. You see, the loon has a different plan. Escape. You ought to be ashamed of yourself picking on an unsuspecting loon. How do you like that? All right, oh, give me a leg. Oh, you think you're tough? I'll poke your eyes out. Oh. Ah. Hey, those are my good eyes. Oh. I got your nose. How about your nose? That's my good nose. Oh. Oh. Right, give me an eye. Let me bring that ear right oh. 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 Don't think you're oh. away from me oh. so easily, Mr. Oh. 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 Hey. And a nose. Sorry about the whole thing. It goes to show you. Size and reputation don't always mean victory. <laughs> you just got beat up by a bird. Yeah, so who are you gonna tell, eh? Uh, oh, nobody. Just gonna play on this iceberg. Hours and hours of fun, ages three and up. Let's just try and be happy, eh? This is no fun. I think I'll go do something else. What are you doing over there? I'm gonna do some, uh, some, like, snow licking. You know, I think, like, your attitude's negative. Oh, okay. tra -la. Let's find the joy in life. Hey, look what I got here. Kelp, never seen this before. Hey, lucky you. Hey, look, I'm making angels in the snow. The warm sun makes them forget their rumbling tummies, and they settle down for a little nap. Just like their human counterparts, animal babies spend a lot of time teething, which is why they'll chew on anything and everything. Ah, delicious. Just a moment. Objective, honey. Maybe grubs. Don't see honey, no grubs. It is like an itch that only chewing on branch can satisfy. <laughs> Careful, almost slip and fall. If I keep this up, I could get job in circus. Maybe instead of circus, you should try balance beam. Be quiet down there. I am I'm in delicate, precarious position. I have to find a way to climb up big tree. Oh, very carefully now. I see you several times slip. I look for grub down here where it's safe. Yes, well, it's not safe here. Perhaps you could uh, assist and bring down, please. Whoa, ho, ho. Hey, you think maybe on the ground you could give me hand up here? Get my paws up over here, climb to the top. Oh, this is not a good situation. I'm slipping! Ouch! you to help me when I fall on back. I think you need more climbing training from state school, no? I, I... hit you so hard. I hit you back. <laughs> Come back here. Where are you going? I've had enough. I cannot talk to you anymore. A playful pair of baby badgers forage nearby. Let me speak first most politely. Hello, badger chicks. Cubs, pups, kids, whatever. <laughs> Let me for to introduce my furry brown brother and myself. Say, you bears aren't from around here, are you? Oh, that tickles. <laughs> you like this? Mm, that's nice. Oh, what's going on over here? Pleased to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I think I'll go over here now. The cub is not biting the little badger. In fact, the furry teething toy seems to rather like the mouth massage on its loose coat. That feels nice. Could, could you do it on the other side? No problem, sweet lady. 
You smell sweet like honey. Oh, you don't smell that bad yourself. We don't like to eat you. We like to play. Yeah, don't be alarmed. <laughs> when I bite, it's not to make you dinner. The other pair seems to have gone beyond stage one. They are into full play mode. The bashful bear? Well, no chemistry, I guess. You know, as bear, we like to eat big UC bugs and roll around on dead things. You don't say. Oh, yes, you should try sometime with me. Uh-huh. Bye. Hello! Now this is more like it. Let's on first. There's plenty of bear to go around. With no grown-ups around to teach them the normal reactions to each other, they innocently continue to play. Even though their parental separation is temporary, a permanent lack of parental guidance is a big problem for orphans. That is the case with the cub I named Grizz. I carry the orphan to my mountain cabin when she is just weeks old. Adopting a precious little grizzly like this takes a lot of time and effort. Besides feeding her, I have to play mother to this lovable little teddy bear. But her antics and affection provide me with laughter, tears, and always a feeling of accomplishment. Humans have got it made. bear gets bigger, it grows more and more independent and playful. Good morning, Mr. Sapsucker. How are you today? I hate being called a sapsucker. Sapsucker, woodpecker, whatever. Bear cubs love to tease and tussle. A pair of growing grizzly cubs try to one-up each other in a game of King of the Mountain. One silly sibling slips over the edge. As he tries to claw his way back up, sister seizes on the unfortunate incident. Sometimes, one's misfortune is the other's pleasure, especially with a couple of nutty bears. Sis is playing in the ravine again. On the nearby Pribilof Islands off the Alaskan coast, northern fur seals breed and give birth. The young, although not as agile on land as bears, still practice adult duties by playing their version of King of the Hill. 
Okay, somebody want a piece of meat? No. <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> Watch out there. Okay. I'm king of the hill. Oh, that's so tough. I'm up here now. Not oh. anymore. Oh. Oh. I'll bite your whiskers off. I don't think so. Come over here. You oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I give, I give. Hey, look at me. <laughs> I don't like that very much. Here I come. Uh, get off this. Soon they tire of the game. It's time for a little snuggling with Mom. Tell me what happened, sweetheart. Well, I was playing this game, and uh -huh. then he knocked me off. Oh. And he pushed me. Mm -hmm. I was king of the hill. It's hard being king of the hill. <sighs> Just as in humans, sometimes itching can be contagious. This family of kit foxes begins to scratch. Mother Fox tries to make sense of it all. I don't understand. I just washed everybody this morning. Oh, golly, it got me going now. Okay, okay, they're not real dogs. We're not. They're black-tailed prairie dogs. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's right. I'm a prairie dog. That's right, I'm a prairie dog. It seems that one of these prairie pupsters is determined to have an adventure away from home. Perhaps with this tarantula. <laughs> the tarantula is in no mood to be snipped at. Wait, uh, not. What's the matter? This puppy decides that home is much safer. What happened? I'm getting back in the hole. But the rambunctious little pup is not about to stay in the confines of his den like his siblings. Oh no, he's off to see the world. Well, some of it anyway. I wasn't scared. <laughs> all right. Hey, what are all these doing? What? What are these? You weren't here a little while ago. Little does he realize that these harvester ants are about to change his mind about the wide open spaces. What y'all do? But there he is with all those ants. Now for the consequences of his curiosity. Scooching on the ground for all he's worth, he tries to ditch the stinging monsters. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Get out of the ants! Good point. Finally, home sweet home. I wasn't scared. Oh no. Here's our determined friend again, Stinky the Fox. He's out to pester another neighbor. A goose nest may be just the ticket. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Goose. But this time it looks like he may be on the receiving end of the fun. I don't mean to be rude, but as you can see by my feathers, I prefer you not touch our eggs. Is he gone, dear? Uh, not quite, dear. This pair of Canada geese are in no mood to have their eggs napped. Uh, there he's off. 
Stinky, on the other hand, seems to think it's just a game. Game? I think not. Now listen here, you rotty little mammal. Keep your paws away from our eggs. That's telling him, darling. Thank you. I was just wondering if... Get out of here. Really, go home. I don't want the cat to get ugly now. But I was just wondering if the goslings could play. The little fox and father goose get into a staring match. The gander can tolerate no more. Clear off! Do you hear me? You have forced me to lose my temper! Yes, get! Thank you, dear. Boy, they're sure in a foul mood. One thing is certain. Stinky does not give up easily. But even this bundle of energetic aggression is bound to meet his match sooner or later. A snapping turtle tries to hide in the low grass. Oh, it is so good to be all alone. Uh-oh. Red fox alert. Uh-oh. Hi, Mr. Turtle. What you doing? I've been having a wonderful afternoon playing with all my friends, the raccoons, the skunks, and the geese. Hey, how about you, Mr. Turtle? Would you like to play, huh? Would you? Fresh from his last encounter, you'd think he would be more cautious. But this inexperienced little traveler apparently has no fear. Big mistake. Think twice before you break my solitude, Mr. Fox. Oh, so you want to wrestle? Even though it seems slow, the snapping turtle can be surprisingly quick. Yes. Come here and let me give you a little kiss. Okay with me. How does that feel, huh? Oh, my nose. You like that, Mr. Fox, huh? Oh, you like how that feels? Oh, 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 Run away, little fox. The turtle, alone at last, slowly and methodically goes about its business. Oh, boy. Oh, that hurts. Boy, that's the hardest kiss I've ever had. He must like me a whole lot. Ah, this has been the greatest day. I don't think I've ever had so much fun. I think I'll take a little nap. Late in the day, my brothers and I head for a wolf den I spotted earlier. Right down over there. The little wolf cubs are also fuzzy bundles of energy. Adult members of a wolf pack all help rear the litter. A female returns to babysit the brood. She's prepared to relax and keep an eye on the youngsters until mom's return. By the time we arrive, the babysitter seems bored with it all. The cubs, on the other hand, are anything but restful. We have fun watching the tireless cubs. Fed up, she calls for a little help. Finally, reinforcements.
it's time for us to leave these hungry little wacky babies to play out their roles in nature. With mom back, the puppies settle in for a little motherly comfort. As evening nears, we head back to camp, a perfect ending to a beautiful spring day. Mothers rejoin their young. The little ones eagerly look forward to a parent's return. Babies find security in family reunions. It is all as it should be. We need to do what we can to keep it that way. I'm Marty Stauffer. Until next time, enjoy our wild America.